Hello and welcome to Free World Investing. Today we're going to be going over Ethereum for 2019. Is it a good investment? Well, there's a lot of speculation going around with Ethereum. And right now, it is actually looking like it's about to hit a new low. Now we're on the 4 hour chart. I'm going to even take it up a little bit, take it to the hour chart, just so you can see how far of a drop we're going. Now there is this candle right here, so it's got some hesitation. So the guy wait and see if it drops to a new bottom a new bottom actually might be hit soon so will ethereum come back up though that's a really good question because it doesn't look like bitcoin is going to quite make it for the year i really feel like bitcoin's volume is about to seriously be depleted but i do think ethereum might have a comeback possibly but there are a couple hurdles in the way of ethereum but they do have some good things going for them now the good thing about Ethereum, if you don't know what it is, Ethereum is a blockchain app platform, which means that it creates apps on a blockchain. It's immutable, it's decentralized, it's one of the first ones that really ran smart contracts. It's very, very well designed in some aspects, but in other aspects, Ethereum is kind of bulky, it's kind of hard to use, the, the Mist browser, it was pretty much garbage. There's a lot of parts about Ethereum that did not work out very well. It wasn't very user friendly unless you really understood what you were doing. And if it tackles that issue, Ethereum might come back with a vengeance, especially if they later on use a hard fork because the reason that Ethereum is not going to disappear anytime soon is because of the number of tokens that they support because of their decentralized app many people run on ethereum many alternative coins run on ethereum uh, one of the the number one coin is of course the binance coin which they're not gonna have too much longer and that is a problem so but there is the I think one of the number ones ones is Monaco Monaco and a couple other ones that are working on very very interesting programs on here as long as they stay on this blockchain they're going to do very well dent is also another really good one 10x is another good one there's there's a whole bunch of really good ones on on the ethereum blockchain that may keep it floating but the, they they are having some issues and like I was talking about with the Binance, another problem is on Binance, they're about to have their own blockchain. That's apparently, they're claiming to be faster and cheaper than Ethereum. And some of these tokens are going to be switching over, according to the people from Binance. Now, that may be taken with a grain of salt. So, I'm not really too sure. I don't think that Ethereum is going to be blowing up any time this year, though. I feel like it may hit this. I think the bottom might be found around 100. I think it may come back down to this bottom right here. And this might become the new support and resistance. And then we'll have a bounce up to probably back up and test this line and maybe even go past this line. So we, I, I, I see us maybe going up to like maybe it might even reach 96 and then come back up to 104 or 108. And then I feel like it might be ranging in this area for quite some time. And if their development team works better and they get the browser to work better, then they are going to be a real big competitor in the cryptosphere for late 2019 and beyond that. But right now, I would put them as a kind of a gamble. Ethereum has so much backing behind it that they're not going to disappear. So investing in them, you know, they're not going to go anywhere anytime soon. They're still, they got so many uses already and there's so many companies that are already invested in them and have tokens with them that they're not going to disappear for a long time. Even if the ERC-20 tokens start to move, they're not going to be moving at such a high volatility that if you invested in Ethereum, you wouldn't be able to get out. If you really love the project, you know, all for investing, I'd wait for it to at least hit this line right here 
and wait to see what happens. I think it's going to go a little bit lower than there, especially with the high volume uh, candle right here. I, I'm pretty positive it's going to break this resistance line. So I had to wait at least until this resistance line is broken before, before anything. Because, I mean, you got to look at some of these other candles and realize that sometimes the volatility here can be quite extreme. And I think it, a lot of this has to do with the negative news coming from Binance. Because Binance is their number one token. But if Binance doesn't really do too well and their blockchain doesn't perform quite as well as they think, then Ethereum is very well going to jump right back up. Well, that's all for right now on Ethereum. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a give it a like and subscribe to find out more content and learn more about blockchain and investing. You all have a good day.